Now we're going to take our sonometer tape measure and we're going to do measurements according to the 1020 system. We're going to measure from his nasum to anion. And the anion, if you aren't quite sure where you feel it, you can have the patient tilt their head back a little bit and you'll feel it's right where the crease where they're turning it, where they're bending back. And that's 40. So I'm going to come up 10 centimeters and measure, make marking at the 40. Halfway distance, so I'm going to make a measurement at the 20. I'm going to make an original marking at the 40, but I'm also going to come up 10% and make another marking at the 10% line. Then I'm going to measure from pericular to pericular. If you're not quite sure where that's located, you can ask the patient. You put your finger just about here. It's usually where the snitch is. Ask the patient to open and close their jaw, and you should be able to feel the opening and closing of the jaw. Thank you, sir. And you want to make sure that you're going over your original marking at the top of the head. A lot of times tape measure will slide forward. Okay, so that's coming out to 38. So I'm going to make a mark halfway. But I'm also going to come up 10%. So 3.8. And make a mark there. And I'm also going to do the same on the other side. will help your measurements later. Okay, so the X that I made here that you can see, that that X is our CZ, okay? And all I'm going to do is just extend this line straight down just so I will have a cross intersection when I measure for my C's and I'm going to do the same on the other. And then my front to back I'm just going to extend that same line down so I have a center point when I go to measure my o, for my O's. Okay, your next step is you're going to measure the circumference of the head. So what you're going to do is your original base point, you're going to come around the head and you're going to measure here. This is where you're going to go right around to your circumference and here. These are landmarks where the tape measure goes, okay? And at this time, you can ask the patient to help assist you. It gives them something to do. Sir, if you could hold this at the front of your head for me, please. Thank you. I'm going to make sure that you come right around. And the head circumference is 62 centimeters around. So I'm going to take 5% of that off of off my center mark to mark for his O's, and I'm going to do the same in the front. I'm going to go ahead and let go. Gonna extend that CZ line straight down the middle, and I'm gonna take that same five percent on each side and make my markings down the front. In order to get my C3 and C4, I'm gonna do the same thing, pericular, pericular. I'm getting 38. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down 20% um, on each side. And I'm going to make my mark across. And I'll cross that line. It'll make a hatch mark right across. Okay. You're also going to continue that line straight out to help for your marking for your F's. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side.
In order to get your Fs, it's 50%. You're going to come and measure. You're going to come right along the line that you, that you carried out. And you're going to stop where you made your C4. And it's 15. And you take 50% of that and uh, you mark for your Fs. And then I'm going to continue around and make the same measurement on this side. I'm going to come halfway and make my marks. Okay, so the head is all marked out. Those are areas that you're going to touch electrodes and clean and prep. I'm just going to show you on the face where, we're, where we have other electrodes attached. Um, normally don't mark the face, but I'm just going to show you so when we actually go for cleaning purposes that you're not lost. For the right eye, you're going to come out directly about one centimeter out. So that's where we'd make that marking there. For the left eye, you're going to come one centimeter out and one centimeter down. And for the chin, we're looking for the muscles of the chin. There's three. So the muscle for the chin would be right here. And you're going to end up putting three electrodes here. So you're going to put one in the center, one to the side, and one to the side. So there's our three markings for that. Now, for chest, for our EKG, we're going to put one marking. You're going to come down three intercostal spaces on the left mid collicular mid collicular line here okay so you count down one two three and i'd put a marking there on the chest wall for the ekg one or actually i'm sorry i misspoke that's ekg two the other ekg marking it's mid axillary and you're going to come down to the fifth intercostal space so actually the EKG would be just about here okay and that's that's where we'll put the other marking alrighty so now we're going to commence with cleaning and prepping the head so basically you're going to come with a q-tip and you clean with alcohol first and then you clean with the new prep, the same section. I find it easiest if you just go through and you clean all the areas that you need to have prep first. And you would just basically go through and clean all the areas of the head. 